it's, it's a small town, everybody kind of knows each other. It's just easy, outgoing. So it's always going to be the special place in my heart. It's just so cool to see like the old architecture, you know. You don't really see anything like that in, uh, in the United States. You would probably never achieve something by yourself. <laughs> see, I think everyone comes in because it's making jungle. I'm gonna serve the food for them like the head of the table right now. <laughs> I have to be the best uncle right now. Aria, she's a little superstar. After all, guys, money. She's running the show everywhere she goes. When you get here, you literally feel like you're in a different place and you don't even feel like you're in Slovakia. Work hard, never say why, and he always smile. I'm his proud friend, yeah, and I'm really happy for him. We need a small little village to make it somewhere, and uh, I was lucky enough I had a good village with the good people. Of course I can say it's a special place for me. I was born there, I kinda, uh, they raised me up there. Uh, I have all my family there, all my friends, so it's always gonna be the special place in my heart. I always love, love coming home uh, during the off season. Overall, it's a, it's a small town, everybody kinda knows each other. Uh, it's just easy, outgoing city. You don't have to like kinda dress special for dinners and stuff like that, so I always, try to enjoy my time in my hometown and uh, kind of see everybody, see my family, see all my friends and give them my time when I'm home. Only have a great memories from, from the past. Even until now, I like, I like coming back home and, uh, and spend some time there. Športu som ho priviedla asi ja, lebo som tiež športovala, keď som bola mladá. Uh, veľmi sa mu páčili motorky a chcel jazdiť na motorkách, ale vzhľadom na to, že to bolo dosť finančne náročné a nebezpečné, hlavne pre mňa ako matku, tak uh, vedela aj korčulovať a som mu povedala, že nech si vyberie niečo iné miesto motoriek, tak si vybral ten hokej. It's kind of scary to be on a motorcycle when you're so young, in a young age. So then my mom said like, why don't try hockey? And I remember from the First time I stepped on the ice, I kind of fell in love in the sport. Keď bol malý, tak nemala som žiadny problém stávať, lebo on ma budil skôr, ako prišiel tréning. <laughs> Tréningy boli o 5. o 6. ale on už o 3. ma budil, že mama stávať, nezabudli, nezabudli sme ísť na tréning. <laughs> ale zase naopak to bolo potom tak, že keď bol už starší, tak sme ho mali problém zobudiť. A ja som ho musela za každým budiť, že Erik, stávaj, už je čas ísť na tréning, alebo že ejo, musíš stať, lebo máš, uh, musíš sa najesť a potom musíš ísť na tréning, že už je ten čas. Tak uh, nejakým spôsobom sme sa potom dohodli na tom, že sme začali vstávať v normálny čas. We are at the Steel Arena uh, in my city. That's uh, probably the second biggest stadium or the hockey rink in Slovakia. I used to play here, the U18, and then I made the jump to the to the men team. Uh, here is Mojmir Božik. He's my favorite coach. Uh, when I was when I was younger, when I was playing in U18, he was coaching me for probably like three years. But we are still in touch. Uh, always when I come home, I always come see him and. Uh, Uh, we always have the fun when we see each other, making jokes and stuff like that. We always uh, thinking about the memories that we had together and it's always nice to see him. He taught me a lot. Uh, he was so good to me. Uh, he was just giving the amazing effort to, to teach us something new uh, on the eye and off the eye. So it was great lessons for me. I remember he was a very good guy. He listened all what coach say and do it. He never say why we do it, how much we do it, but just do it. And if I have behind, I was sure he was 100% every time. But the player was on the line. I see he had a dream on the head. He won't play in the he won't win uh, Stanley Cup. And a hard work for it, I was saying. And after the dream come true, and he win two times 
uh, Stanley Cup, and I think Tampa must be happy that they have that guy. Being here for a couple of years, you can tell it smells pretty bad here, but <laughs> it's a classic in hockey, and uh, it's just a small room. Uh, when we were practicing, we came here, when we played the games, uh, we had the meetings here with the coaching staff, and uh, that's it. There is a small room where we can leave the stuff and bathrooms with the showers and stuff like that. So and every month they crash something. <laughs> like they would, they, they would have to replace the doors all the time, and we were just playing hockey or shooting pucks. Should be packed to do. <laughs> I remember we had to make sure everything is clean, and uh, when you were a younger guy, you always have to clean or or make sure everything looks nice and, and fresh. There wasn't anybody who was coming to clean. We had to do everything by ourselves. And, and especially the coaching office is on the left side of us. So they were always closed watching on us. <laughs> we must control all the time, <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> I remember when you were a kid, you just having fun, enjoying the time with your teammates. Uh, you don't really think ahead of you what can happen and if you're gonna like make it somewhere, you know, you just... I remember when I was old, around like 13, 14 years old, I started playing with the older guys. At the time I was like, oh, I'm I'm pretty good in the in the sport, so why don't try even more, more harder on the practices and skates and uh, eventually, when I was 15 years old, I was playing with the two years older guys than me three years older and uh, eventually when I was 16 I was playing my first World Juniors and the guys were probably four years older than me so it was tough but at the time you see all the scouts, you see all the buildings, fans and at that level you can see you can probably make it somewhere. I have always good memories on this gym because I used to play here. Uh, I spent most of my time here to get better to do some like warm-up before the games, before practice, some workouts and stuff. And uh, usually now when I'm home, I always come here to see my strength coach and uh, just try to make myself better for a new season. My coach was playing for the team, so they won 1985, then 1987, 1994, 1995, 1998. Yes, only this level. Just uh -huh. See, those ones were Czechoslovakia League on the right side, the first two. And then 1994, it's only the Slovakian league because they split the countries in 1993. And I was lucky enough to win two championships when I was here, when I was 16 and 17 years old. So uh, it was a great experience to, to feel something like that and uh, accomplish something in my hometown also. So we're going to the coach office right now. And here is the legendary picture of Wayne Gretzky and, uh, and my coach. Up here. So here is uh, Yuji Bitzek. He won the Stanley Cup in uh, New Jersey in 2004. Here's Vladislav Nak. He played in uh, like almost 500 games in NHL. There's three seniors, Yurko, Marinchin. There's me saying I won two Stanley Cups. And then uh, Yuri Slavkovsky was number one draft pick last year. So it's kind of it's kind of good for my coach. He was coaching so many good players, and, and here is the legendary picture. I have to show you guys. <laughs> Look at my coach. How he was in 17 years old. He's, he's over there. And here is my. Wait, but it's not like that anymore. <laughs> it's on <laughs> the <laughs> bacon. <laughs> he was 15. He worked hard, and he learned quick. And uh, time by time, he take experience, and he changed style. It's of course it's good, but now it's uh, he's uh, play with head. He's not hurry up to to make the situation, players. and uh, but he must learn <laughs> more. He's young. He can be better. Let's sure see. Even I, I want us to stand because I can be still better. There is always something where we can improve, and it's kind of nice to hear from from my old coach, you know, because you never can be satisfied with yourself if you win. Doesn't matter how many selling cups, how many good seasons you had, you always have to improve in in new season, you always have to work hard and, and make yourself better. For me how coach he was very good great to team because he worked hard, never say why, and he always smile <laughs> face, you know. He he won't do every joke in team, it's good. Good uh, for team. Joke always 
it's good if some guys uh, make atmosphere in team, spirit of team. It's good. It's very good. I was always like an asshole. But I learned him. I learned him this. It's all from the course. <laughs> what do you think that, right? Yeah. I say, Eric, it's funny. Yep. <laughs> there was always this, all the time when we were younger and we were, I don't want to say stupid, but we didn't think and he always got us, you know. And also, like, his cows are yeah. much bigger than, than mine because they must, device. they must make every, I say, you came to arena, you take socks here because you don't have, like, coach. <laughs> You know, I, say, I, I need a lot of so I don't show my cards. Muscles, yeah. Like, coach, after that you can go on socks, take away. It's his wife, like... <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't even come see him because he's making jokes on me. I can tell, like, all my family and everybody around me, especially my parents, they, they gave me a lot to kind of achieve my dream, and uh, I can't thank them enough to what kind of support they gave me, even with my siblings and uh, you know, brother and sister. Of course, they were part of it too, and I always have to, had to work hard, try hard, you know, and uh, kind of make it somewhere. No, čo sa týka jeho tréningového procesu a jeho... Nasadenia? Nasadenia, alebo jeho naplnenie sna, bol strašne na tréningoch snaživý, nebol lenivý, vždycky chcel byť prvý. Čo ešte Súťaživý tam? bol. Rodinu to dosť ovplyvnilo tým, že museli sme mu veľa pomáhať. So všetkým. So všetkým. Prispôsobiť aj stravu, aj aby pred tréningom sa vedel najesť normálne, aby mal nejaký oddych po tréningu, zase oddych aby aj študoval. Súrodenci ostávali po víkendoch sami doma. Väčšinou. To bolo pravidelne sobota, nedela, keď boli nejaké turnaje alebo zápasy, tak s bratom sme ostali sami doma. A sem tam sme čo to povyvádzali. Mali sme príležitosť k tomu. Ale snažila som sa všetky deti, všetkých všetky tri moje deti rovnakým dielom e, oceniť tým, že keď Erik dostal výstroj, tak e, dcera tým, že tancovala, tak dostala kameru. Syn bol nadaný e, starší zase v účtovníctve, v technike a také, tak sme mu kúpili počítač, takže som sa to stá, snažila e, aj s druhom, s Erikovým otcom e, nejakým spôsobom kompenzovať, aby tí starší súrodenci neboli na vedľajšej kolaji. We were at my family house. We just moved here probably three years ago. Everything's kind of fresh. We're still trying to finish everything from outside. We're building the chill house behind the actual house. So it's still work to do, but here we are in the family room. As you can see, because of my niece is here, so we're watching all the kids' movies and stuff like that. But it's always fun to have her around. Here you can see the beautiful fireplace. It's so tall, and then we can go upstairs to my room. My room is over here. I have my first National Hockey League game against Buffalo. That was uh, November 13. I believe that was 2019. That was the dream for me. It was amazing. Uh, here was my first national point against Nashville. I think in Nashville, so that was also amazing. And this one was actually legendary. Uh, my first national hockey league goal against New York Rangers in the Madison Square Garden against Henrik Lundqvist. So you can ask for for better first goal in, in NHL and I still remember who was passing me. That was Ryan Callahan, such a great player and such a great person. And he was actually passing me on my first goal. So yeah, it's, it's been amazing. This one is the probably the best one. I won the, the best player of my country of Slovakia in 2021. That was actually one of the biggest one. This one is 2020. I won the third place of the best athlete of the year. This one, this, this, and this one, I won the best defenseman of the year in, in Slovakia, like four years in a row. So I'm really grateful for it. And I know we don't all have a lot of guys in NHL from my country, but it was just great accomplishment for me, you know, to be named uh, with other great players like Zeno Chara, Lubomir Ryshnovsky and all those guys from Slovakia to be on the same list like they were. It was amazing. 
počkaj, kde mám dať vodičku. Are we gonna eat now? We have a traditional food. We can only really buy it at the restaurant or like order it somewhere. So we have a homemade dumplings here with the smoked meat and the, and the homemade cabbage. That's what my mom usually makes us and she's a great cook. I like everything. I'm sure my sister can say the same thing or David, my best friend and Carly also my girlfriend. So yeah, we're gonna just enjoy the dinner right now. I'm gonna serve the food for them like a head of the table right now. <laughs> My favorite food is uh, that's called Segedinsky goulash. That's what I was eating from the from the Stanley Cup, and I bring it here to my hometown, which was which was really cool. But I had it like two days ago, also, so my mom didn't want to make it the same thing again. I feel like we have so many like traditional food here in Slovakia, so it's hard to pick what we gonna make every single night. But I feel like usually dinner is not really big here, like in the United States. Because in the United States, like everybody goes for dinner, have some drinks and stuff like that. And I feel like here, the bigger one is a lunch. Usually when my mom is in Tampa, she always makes me something homemade, traditional, what I can really find in Tampa. And it, it's always good, good to have some, some food from your homeland. To be honest, I don't really like the cook. I don't like standing in the kitchen. And when we are in Tampa, usually Carly cooks for us. So I'm lucky enough to have her. But my mom is saying, like, I know how to do it, but I remember when I was in Syracuse, I always called her, like, when I was making dinner, I always called her, so I was on the phone with her for, like, two hours, and she was explaining me, like, what to do, what I have to buy, and, like, the whole process, so that was kind of crazy, but I had to do it because I didn't have enough money to just go to the restaurant every single night, so I had to do it, I had to deal with it, but I was working my myself up, and uh, I kind of, made it to the initial, so everything is just easier right now. We're lucky enough to be to be in that position and I'm I'm grateful for it. Bon appetit! Bon appetit! So, bon appetit! Hovorí, že to jedlo, čo ma, čo, čo ma stalo, že som silný teraz taký. <laughs> Ako oni nikdy nemali problém, čo som im naložila na tanier, tak všetko jedli. My mom is saying like I would, not only me, but also my siblings or my dad, yes, like... Yes, they don't have any favorite food, but Whatever she, my mom made, like, we like it so much, we are eating everything. So there is no, like, just particular food what she was making, and I'm strong like that. But I feel like everything together was so good. And, and I feel like the homemade food is always the best, you know? Like, you, you just, especially, you know, my mom is making the food from the love to us, you know? and we couldn't be more happier than than we are right now and uh, we probably couldn't ask for a better mom and especially parents too <laughs> we knew each other like since we were children because our parents were like really close to each other like good friends we had a mutual friend that uh, Eric was playing hockey with him. Yeah, he was my teammate and he used to live close to David, yeah. so I was spending a lot of time with him and David was always with us. When we got older, we we started to spend more and more time together. Then he got drafted. Every time he came back for the summer break or when he got a break, so we spent time together and making plans for the summer and uh, going to visit some places and driving fast cars and things like that. Since I moved to the United States, it was kind of hard, like we always uh, kept in touch. Uh, we are FaceTiming like, like every day. Yeah. <laughs> like, like a boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> was my parents, they own the pizza place. In the summer, when Eric came back home, he wanted like to spend time with me, but I was working. So he came, he came into pizza place, and I, I had like work to deliver the pizzas, and he was like, "Man, let's do it on the G wagon." <laughs> <laughs> so we were delivering the yeah, pizza on our we cars, were, and the people yeah, were like, "What are you guys doing uh, here with like, the pizza?" So people were getting down the, from from the apartments or or homes, and. Uh, they were like, what? What type of car do you have for delivering pizzas? <laughs> and I, I said, like, we leveled up a little bit. <laughs> but it was just fun for us. Like, we yeah. wanted to spend some time together, and it was just funny to see the reaction of the people. So we were just doing it from time to time together. 
We went to F1 race in Budapest. That was just amazing, amazing time there. Lifetime David, experience. Yeah, David is following the F1 a long like time. Crazy. <laughs> and I told David, like, I will make sure you will go to the one race uh, soon. And then eventually the opportunity came to go to the race. And it was just amazing. They treated us super well. They did everything what they could. And uh, I hope, like, I made the dream come true for David for at sure. least once. <laughs> Yeah, that was amazing. It was like, like I said, lifetime experience and memories for whole life. When he's got something on his mind, he will say it like directly. He's really determined in everything he does, whether it's in personal life or in hockey life. He tried to be best and I was always like that. And even like David said, I'm pretty honest. Like I always tell him what I feel and, and he's the same way to me. So. Yeah, like I said, there is a good connection between us. We talked like it would be crazy if you go to play for Tampa and I was calling him like, man, do you remember like we were talking about this and it's yeah, it's happening been, right now. So yeah, it's I'm been really crazy. excited, yeah. I, got, been, I have a goosebumps right now. <laughs> it's been crazy because like like we said before, we, we spent a lot of time together when I'm home during the summer and that summer I was working so hard because my dream was make it to the NHL and every time we met I was like, oh, that would be so cool to to actually make the next jump to the next level to the NHL and David was like, yeah, like you're working so hard that eventually they will come and he was right, like pretty much right after the season started. Like I called first my parents then obviously my sister, my brother and then David was the next next person online. So that was just, that, that was just amazing. I'm his proud friend. Yeah, and I, I like, I'm really happy for him. Free. 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 I have to be the best uncle right now. Aria, she is little superstar. Well, we are in the, like probably the best area of my city. Uh, in the old town, we have like beautiful street here with so many good restaurants and places to to go. Yeah, we usually come here when it's nice weather, especially right now when my sister has a uh, has Aria. It's kind of nice with her; she's running the show here. But yeah, we come here often actually. She's running the street right now. It's just so cool to see like the kind of like the old architecture. You know, you don't really see anything like that in uh, in the United States. So. You like the idea how old is the Europe and especially the city. <laughs> yeah, the weather is amazing here during the summertime, better than in Tampa. So that's another thing what, what I like to experience here and like enjoy a little bit during the summertime. Hore. <laughs> she knows the way how to go into the park, so we have to follow her. But she called Nasi. Daj placaka. Placak. Ka. Do kociarika? Nie. Idziesz kumniarinka? Nie. My mom was asking her, do you want to go on, the, on Eric's hands? She's, she's like, nope. No. I'm out. Daj ručku, Arinka. Daj ručku, co robisz? B, B, B. I was like, give me your hand. She gave me the hand for a little bit. Ha. She's amazing. Arinka. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I remember first time when I saw her, she was just so small and she's growing so fast. And in the time when I don't see her, and then eventually after a couple of months, I see her. So we just try to enjoy the, the amazing times with her. Can I give you a No. No. Yeah. <laughs> she likes everything. That little girl, she seems like she has so much energy. Go. She's running the show in the house, outside of the house, everywhere she goes. She's kind of like the superstar. So it's been really fun to be around them. And what I can give them, I always do. And uh, kind of try to make, make them happy and especially proud. So they, they know they have somebody who is going to be here always for them and uh, be in their lives too. Now David, my best friend, called me where we are because he want to see us, so... Daddy! Hi, baby! He's just a crazy individual. I love him to that. I would do probably anything for him. And uh, he's the same person. He's giving to other people so much love in, in their, into their lives. He's always positive. He's a funny guy. I know him for such a long time, so we have a crazy connection between us. 
that's why I try to spend most of the time with him and with my family and also other friends. But he's the number one and he's been number one for such a long time and uh, he's amazing. Pozor, pozor. Fish, 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 Kaj, kaj, tá grupo je? Mačička. No, no, no. Ako robí hlavo? Ha, ha, ha. A vtáčik? Pi, 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 pi. A vločok? Dobre, tu by mala tak hovoriť, že aby... A Elza? Super. Maska. Ty, 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 ty. Ari. Ho, ho. Hoj, hojdi, hojdi. Ho. Hojdi? Ho. Hojdi mu kazať. She wanna see the swing. Aria. Hi baby. Ho, ho. Hi baby. Ho. Hi baby. Let's go. Let's go. No. No, no. No, no. Come. I was like, do you want to give him a kiss? Nope. I will get it next time. I'm super close with both of them. When I'm home, I try to spend some time you know, with my sister, with my brother, with their kids, with their families. And family is the most important thing to me. So. It's just nice to see them, you know. I always we, we have a group chat on the WhatsApp, so we kind of know what's going on every single day. They are posting pictures of their kids. I'm posting what I'm doing, so it's a good connection between us. She, oh my gosh, she likes the swing, sparks, everything. What you can see, animals. Like my friend David. Like he likes animals David. too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! Hi, baby. Aria, say hi, baby. She's always busy with something else. I remember a couple of days ago, we went in the shopping mall. And there was like those little cars there to like buy, so they are moving. So I got so many coins for her, but she was there for like two seconds and she left. So I was like, oh, that was kind of pointless. But that's how it is with the kids. They like doing different stuff. We kind of get used to it. She was kind of running the house, right? Because she was older than me, she was a girl, so everybody had to listen to her. She was amazing, but I remember when we were kids, she was always taking care of us when we were outside, playing with other kids and somebody wanted to grab my, my toy. She always made sure that's my toy and nobody was grabbing it from me. So yeah, she was kind of, she was like that, but yeah, they were, they were all amazing and they have been amazing before too. Harinka, where is mamu? Where is mama? Here is mama. No čo, ideme ďalej? No. Ideme ďalej? No. Nie? Ho, ho. She won't stay right here. Now. Hop, hop. <laughs> now she's gonna get ice cream, because we're <laughs> really fine. <laughs> my mom is saying, like, there is no other option for us to, how to do it, so... My mom is that kind of person. She gives you everything what she can. She's doing everything in the house for my dad, for my siblings. When, they, when we were younger, obviously now they are, they are much older. So I just remember how how unique person she is and she gives you all the love and she's kind of like teach me all the stuff, you know, when I was younger. So yeah, I couldn't ask for a better mom than her. Tak my ako traja sú rodenci. Sme mali veľmi blízko k mojim kýdým rodičom. Trávili sme s nimi veľmi veľa času. Po víkendoch máme aj letnú chatu, kde vlastne celé leta sme boli s nimi, samozrejme aj s rodičmi. A vlastne vzniklo tam až... Ja nemôžem rozprávať o tom. Aj, páč. I can tell... The relationship with my grandfather was amazing. Uh, I remember since I was a super little guy, I was going to the school. My school was right beside their house, so I was, I was always telling my parents, I want to go sleep to my uh, grandparents' house before the school. And... Proste jednoducho mali s mojimi rodičmi dosť silné puto a moji rodičia sa im strašne veľa venovali. 
ako nie som tu medzi nami a je mi to ľúto, že moja mama sa toho nedožila. <laughs> Ale otec ako bol strašne pičný na svojho vnuka a v noci, aj keď napriek tomu, že mal určitý vek a bol, tak sledoval v noci hokeje na Slovensku, ktoré neboli ľahké pre neho vzhľadom na ten váš časový posun, ktorý je v Amerike a na Slovensku. It was such a great time to be around them, you know, they always give us everything what they had. I had favorite meal from my grandmom. Uh, we were watching uh, all the sports with my grandfather and we were super close. So it was kind of hard pill to swallow when, when they die and they are not here anymore with us. But uh, when I was younger, like we had the summer house and uh, during the school break, during the summertime, He always took us there for almost two months and I didn't want to leave from him. He, he taught me so many good stuff around the house, uh, around the backyard, how to cut the grass, how to build something, ride the motorcycles, play football with him. And obviously there was some funny story when I was a super bad guy and he was mad at me, so he was chasing me around the house. He just gave us so many good, uh, good life lessons and uh, And yeah, they were they were amazing, and I'm sure all my family and I we miss them we miss them a lot. My cup was here in Košice, and he was part of it also. So that was kind of amazing story. Him to be around me and uh, see the Stanley Cup beside us too. in the mountains of Slovakia, uh, probably one of the beautiful places here in Slovakia, uh, especially in Grand Hotel Kempinski. I've been coming here the last couple of years a lot, especially during the weekends and with Karoli or with my family, just spend some time together, you know, enjoy the, the free weekend and uh, free time, what we have. Before I Karoli came here to Slovakia, I thought like I have to show you the special place uh, in the mountains because I always, when I come here, I feel special. Uh, feels super quiet here and it's just enjoyable. It felt like a castle when we pulled up. It's like so charming, so stunning, and it feels so special because it's special to Eric. And so it feels like a little um, special getaway when we come here, I love it. And it's good for us because it's only hour and a half from, uh, from my city, from Košice. So it's easy right here. We can come here whenever I have a couple of days off or just some free time. For me, it's one of the best hotels here in Slovakia. I heard from the people here, the first building built here, 1893, which is a long time, and uh, you can see it's, it's charming here and uh, everybody's feeling special here. It was actually amazing. I remember we won the first cup in 2020, then 2021, and right after I came here, and obviously there was all over, all over the news and every, everybody kind of knew about it, so, They asked me if I can take a picture with the GM of this hotel and they will put me on the wall with, like I said before, with uh, other uh, amazing people and, and influenced people from Slovakia. As you can see, we have so many mountains here. When you get here, you literally feel like you're in a different, different place and you don't even feel like you're in Slovakia. So that's what is special about this place and that's why I like to come in here and enjoy every single weekend or whenever I can come here. I remember my parents used to bring us here with my, with my siblings all the time during the summer when we have the school break or any free time. So I remember this place uh, from the young age and this fight is kind of interesting. I'm still coming here until those days and uh, still enjoying even probably more right now than how I was enjoying it before. As you can see, there are those little, little boats on the lake. You can take those and uh, enjoy the beautiful weather here and the beautiful mountains. So actually right now we are going to my favorite restaurant here around the lake. Uh, that's called Koliba Patria. And they have just amazing food, traditional food from Slovakia. And I always telling people like the food in, in Slovakia is amazing, especially for me because I'm from here. So everybody, everybody else has to like it, but 
I love this restaurant. It's one of my favorites to go to. Yeah. Um, we always try a little bit of everything and everything that Eric orders has been good so far, so. It's just kind of hard because when you go there, you go there only a couple of times during the summer, so you try order so much and then when you leave, you are so full, so <laughs> you're already kind of for, for a power and a half after. Laying in the spa and relaxing. <laughs> yeah. I like pretty much everything from there, but my favorite dish is uh, from traditional Slovakian food, probably Segerinsky goulash and halushki. I would probably eat them all the time if I could. <laughs> but I have to stay in the shape, so I can just it's enjoy a little bit. Treat when you come here. So here we have my three favorite meals off of this restaurant kind of traditional Slovakian food. This one is pulled pork uh, in the potato pancake with the horseradish sauce. Here is classic chicken schnitzel with the potatoes and, uh, and ketchup. And this one is probably number one traditional Slovakian food. Uh, halushki uh, with the sheep cheese and, uh, and smoked bacon on top of it. And yeah, those three are my favorites over here. And uh, that's how Slovakian are known. My favorite out of these three, they're all really good, probably the halushki. Um, I love Italian, so it's the closest thing. Um, because it's kind of like pasta, and, <laughs> and it looks like pasta, but tastes much better, so. Yeah. It's kind of hard to say just one thing that I learned about me, uh, science, the whole journey since I was young until until now, but I can say I'm I'm super grateful for for myself to make it to the NHL. Tak ja som o svojom bratovi zistila to, že je naozaj veľký drič, čo som si nemyslela, že až taký veľký a že je naozaj cieľa vedomý a milý človek, aj keď by som to nevždy na neho povedala. Erik je veľmi citlivý človek, veľa dusí v sebe, nepovie to na vonok, veľmi je pracovitý, tvrdý na seba. Každému chce vyhovieť, úplne každému chce, aby všetci boli spokojní a aby každému urobil to, čo oni chcú, aby proste bol každý šťastný, veselý a niekedy na tým on dopláca, lebo tak Nefunguje život, aby každý občasňoval. I try to be good son for for my parents, good sibling to my brother and sister, good uncle to all my nieces and and all my family. So mm, I'm trying make everybody happy around me, even if that's my girlfriend, my girlfriend's family, and uh, and everybody around me, my best friends, especially David. When you think about it, you would probably never achieve something by yourself without the help of other people, my family, all the coaches what I ever had, my best friends. Uh, without them, that would be probably never, never possible to make the dream. And uh, the first, you have to thank your your family, especially the parents, but because without them, you would never be here. And uh, uh, without their time, I would probably never make it to the NHL. So I just want to say big thanks to my parents and. Uh, and, and my family, but yeah, that's right. You need a, you need a small little village to, to, make, to make it somewhere. And uh, I was lucky enough, I had a good village with the good people. Can you do me a favor, because the lighting is kind of tough. Can you turn your head around? Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to turn my hair is bad now. <laughs> <laughs> she got the second ring right now going on. <laughs> All right, how do you two meet? Okay, so we. <laughs> well, let's start again. I just always thinking about the word, how we can say what not say? grateful. Grateful, yeah. See, Chara, I didn't say that earlier. Let's do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Go sit next to him. We're grateful. David, you put the coco melon. Hey, no. Oh, 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 o
Um, okay, now we're jumping to David. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to drink water, water before? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't think I'm gonna be crying, but yeah. That was good. That was, that was, good. Awesome, man. That was so good. Yeah. You were great, man. Now we need some drink. Yeah. <laughs>